Hey everyone, it's Mark. This is my recap for Pokemon Journeys episode 25, A Battle Festival Exploding with Light vs Mega Lucario. This was the 1110th episode of the Pokemon anime, and it's one that we've all been looking forward to for a while, ever since we found out that Karina would be returning and having a rematch against Ash. The question is, did the episode live up to all the hype? Let's find out. We didn't waste any time at the Cerise Laboratory this week, as the episode opens with Ash and Go arriving in Shalor City in Kalos. Go sets off to catch a ton of Pokemon, while Ash enters the Battle Festival. This competition is a one-day event where trainers taking part in the World Coronation Series can face off against trainers of their choice in order to quickly rise up the ranks. Ash and Pikachu take down another trainer's Clawitzer, while Karina watches on from the stands. While Go continues to catch new Kalos Pokemon, including a variety of Flabebe, Ash and Riolu discover a Lucario, which Pikachu instantly recognizes as Karina's. Ash was able to sense Lucario's aura, which kinda got brushed over, but it does back up a lot of what I said in my aura explanation video, which I'll include as a suggestion right now in the top right. Anyways, Karina and Ash kind of skip over their history together and just say that they had an epic battle one time. But however, Karina does take special interest in Ash's Riolu. Likewise, Riolu starts to fangirl over Karina's Lucario. Karina says that she entered the World Coronation Series for the same reason as Ash, which is to battle Leon. Both trainers need just one more win to enter the superclass, so they agree to battle each other, since you're able to pick your opponents in the battle festival. Go runs into Gherkin, Karina's grandfather and mentor, and they both realize that they know Ash, and then we finally get to Ash vs Karina. This 2 on 2 match starts with Mean Xiao vs Gengar, with Mean Xiao getting the upper hand before using U-Turn. I can't say for sure, but it's possible that this is the evolved form of the mean Fu that Karina used back in XY. Lucario is up next, and it knocks out Gengar with relative ease. It's up to Dragonite to win this for Ash, and it knocks out Mean Xiao after using Dragon Dance followed by Dragon Claw. Lucario is back out, and while Dragonite has already taken plenty of damage, Lucario is pretty much fresh. Karina immediately mega evolves Lucario, but Ash has confidence in Dragonite. After another Dragon Dance, Ash tries to evade an Aura Sphere with its speed and Hyper Beam, but Aura Sphere still connects. Lucario follows up with a power up punch combo that looks almost like close combat, but somehow Dragonite survives. Ash starts thinking outside of the box, and he has Dragonite use Hurricane to create some kind of rocky sandstorm which throws off Lucario. Karina, however, counters, and the two Pokemon collide with an epic Dragon Claw vs. Power Up Punch Showdown. After a tense moment, with neither Pokemon wanting to give in, it's Lucario that takes the fall. Ash and Dragonite celebrate, making it into the Super Class, while Karina apologizes to Riolu for not looking very cool. But Riolu doesn't seem to care, it's still in awe of Lucario. The episode ends with Karina saying that she won't give up, and Go runs off to catch the last colorful baby that he needs to complete his set. I'm giving this episode an 8 out of 10 rating. Overall, this was a very good episode. It's probably one of the top 3 episodes of Pokemon Journeys so far in my opinion, along with Ash's first World Coronation Series match, and the time that he battled against Leon and Galar. That being said, I think a lot of us really had high expectations for this episode, and it may not have lived up to the hype. Honestly, my biggest complaint about this episode was that it tried to fit too much into just one episode. It could have easily been stretched out into two parts. Things like Go and Gherkin running into each other were very cool, but their interaction took time away from Ash and Karina's battle. They could have easily made this episode the setup for Ash vs Karina, with their actual battle taking place next week. Also, I just wanted to make note of a little detail in Go and Gurgan's interaction that I really appreciated, which was that they organically figured out that they both knew Ash. Previously in the anime, two people that Ash knew would hang out with each other, but somehow they didn't manage to realize that both of them knew Ash. And that really annoys me, so thankfully Go and Gurgan didn't do this here. It's also worth mentioning that I'm sure a lot of people wanted more of the backstory behind Ash and Karina traveling together during XY and probably some flashbacks. And again, that could have been further explained had this episode been split into two. As for the battle itself, Gengar looked pretty weak getting knocked out as fast as it did. However, this did make Dragonite seem like an absolute beast having to overcome such difficult odds. That being said, it seemed a little off to me that Lucario lost this way since it barely took any damage the whole time. During Ash's gym battle against it, Ash needed three of his Pokemon just to take it down, but this time he only needed Dragonite. I guess this establishes Dragonite as a real force on Ash's team, so I'm all for that. 
Gengar may need some more training, and Riolu seemingly saw its own future in Karina's Lucario, and hopefully it can grow to be that strong one day. For now, it's still cute and adorable, which is just fine with me. So, like I said, overall this was a very good episode, but because it tried to fit so much stuff into one episode, it didn't really live up to everyone's expectations. Was Karina's return a one-time deal, or do you think she'll return again in Pokemon Journeys? Leave a comment and tell me what you think. The preview for next week promised a two-for-one special, and instead of showing the entire preview clip, I think all we need to see are these two images. Anyways, even though Karina's return didn't really live up to the hype, there's still plenty of opportunities for Ash to have more awesome battles as part of the World Coronation series. If you haven't already, check out my video where I list 10 trainers that I want Ash to battle in Pokemon Journeys, featuring many of Ash's former opponents. Thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.